it's the time of year again. The Apple event's coming up, and uh, I thought I'd bust out the Mac Pro again because it was a little slow last time, and so it's about time we give this guy some upgrades. So just to be clear, I am fully aware of the fact that the Apple event was weeks ago. In fact, I meant to publish this video right before the Apple event came out, but in the end, I had other things I had to do, and so I didn't get around to it. Regardless, at the moment, I'm going to be removing the original 7300 GT graphics card, as well as an extra slot cover, and both a RAM trace. These are the items I will be upgrading today. I bought 16 gigabytes of RAM, a new graphics card, and an SSD, and also the power cable for the graphics card. You will need 66.7 megahertz RAM and fully buffered DIMMs for this upgrade. Slotting the RAM back in. It's time we tackled the graphics card. But first, to deal with these annoying mini 6-pin to 6-pin cables, and then connecting up those up to the graphics card and slotting that in the first slot. I bought this Mac Mini for $25 locally to help aid with patching the software. First, I need to remove the top metal cap. Then I have to remove the Wi-Fi antennas and the DVD drive to get access to that nummy hard drive and replace it with the SSD. This will allow us to boot the 64-bit EFI on El Capitan with a 32-bit EFI on the Mac Pro. There's a patch that I'm going to be using by Pike or Alpha to help with this. Starting up with the Mac Mini, it's time we install El Capitan. I decided to skip over this part because it's really boring, but with our SSD prepped, it's time we insert it into the Mac Pro. This is a pain. I can't see anything and I don't have a proper adapter. However, I was able to get it fitting, and with a little bit of paper, I can keep it padded so it doesn't fall. Now reinstalling the PCIe slot covers and the case. It's time we turn it on. But oops, it looks like I forgot to turn the monitor on. No worries though, because I ended up figuring that out because I thought I was just staring at a black screen and I had to redo everything. It ended up taking me about two minutes to figure this out. And there we go, now it works. Minecraft is a game that runs quite well on this old Mac Pro with the graphics card upgrade. This is Minecraft 1.16.5. It's surprising that it's all supported, but that's considering El Capitan still supports Java 8. Newer versions aren't supported. Super Tux Kart is a lightweight racing game that runs great on these old machines. I really enjoyed making this video because it allowed me to play a lot of my favorite games, like Minecraft and Super Tux Kart. I haven't had a lot of time to play video games recently, and this was a really nice break does not make you a better driver if you upgrade your computer though, that's for sure. So, you guys might remember last time when I made that mock commercial with the Mac Pro involved, but this time because we've added some choice upgrades, I've decided that I'm actually going to edit the whole video on the Mac Pro. So, here's the time lapse of that, and I'll let you know how it goes at the end. So overall, I actually had a lot of fun editing on the Mac Pro. It was very usable and everything, and um, I thought that the display complemented the computer really well with the colors and everything, made editing very easily, and it's actually pretty nice resolution. However, you can probably hear that there's a fan going back here. The GPU I put in there, the HD4870, is known to run really hot, and I had a bunch of issues with the computer crashing and artifacting on the screen, so I had to 
jump the fan wires to an external power supply to make them run at full speed. I haven't had any issues since, but I can't record my mic overlay audio because this is way too loud, and all my music is on my normal editing PC, so I think I'm just going to finish the video from there. But from all the video stuff, I did that all on here. Hey, look at that. Look at this mess. Jump fan wires and now it turned off, so my computer might crash. Oh, good, it's back here. Anyways, I thought it was very fun to edit on this computer. Well, I didn't really have anything planned for the outro of this video since I actually just sold the Mac Pro. I know this footage was recorded weeks ago, and I intended to get it out before the Apple event, but I didn't actually have a chance to. But I definitely got some shenanigans coming up, and uh, I guess it's time for throwback to another video. So I guess why don't you watch the if you want to watch the previous video on this Mac Pro, that video was here, and uh, well, let's not talk about that. Uh, for this one, I'll just throw back to my. Linux gaming video. Anyways, that's all I have to say, but all I can say is I got some really exciting stuff coming up with more Mac shenanigans. I hope to see you all in the next video.